Hey guys, uh, today we are in the in Krimur Haarlem. It's a climbing hole in Haarlem. It's a really beautiful city in Holland. You should also visit it. And uh, yeah, I'm already in here now in about one an hour. One hour. Uh, usually I'm staying like three and a half, four hours. Usually I'm climbing like one and a half hour. After I'm resting like a half an hour, one hour, and eating something. And after I'm doing another one and a half hour. Uh, training. This is a really exhausting training. Usually in here you have to, uh, uh, how to say, in here you have to waste a lot of energy. You will lose also a lot of uh, uh, calories in here. It's a really hard exercise. Uh, but but uh, if you're going to try the wall climbing or the bouldering, the bouldering is when you when you only need a like a shoe and you are not really going really uh, high. So you even don't need a, somebody, a partner for you who will secure you. So and I like it much better because I can go any time when I want. So I don't need to ask one of my friends to come with me and depend on that they have time or not. So usually I'm going alone for climbing. Wall climbing, uh, I like much more the bouldering because it's a, it's a short way. You have to do a lot of different routes, but it's just a couple of minutes per, per one or even a couple of seconds. But it's... Um, much more about the technique and much more about the really hard power uh, uh, climbing it's much more about that you have to save energy from the whole way because you have a long way even in here is like 25 30 meter walls and there you have to uh, you have to have it look for example there is the guy who's climbing up and he has to climb also really high as you can see so I'm now in this bouldering area, so as you can see, I don't know if you see the, the, the top of this wall in here, but it's just two meter high, and there is something where you can fall down, I will try to also show you, so as you can see it's like around 30 meter foam, so if you fall down, you will not hurt yourself, and you will also not break your leg, so I really like this one, I'm, excuse me, I'm checking that it's still recording, because sometimes it's stopping, no, it's still recording, but anyway, uh, if you are going for bouldering, eh, no, I mean, you have to try the bouldering, it's not like that maybe you should try it. There are, for example, those guys who are climbing there, that one was, uh, who was up there was uh, younger and uh, who was older, like 65 years old. So, it's, it's not really depends on how old are you, of course, as younger as you are, as more chance you became a professional in this sport, but I'm just doing it for hobby and also for uh, uh, burning calories. So I suggest you guys to come to here for climbing, not exactly this climbing uh, studio, but uh, uh, the, the closest to your city. Try it. Uh, usually they are offering a free first lesson or even with an instruction lesson. So just ask it, try it. It's really good. I mean, when you are really exhausted, then, then uh, it's not your sport. When you feel that you have really a lot of power and don't, you don't really want to run now or cycling or whatever, you can try to make uh, this one. This, may, this will make a really nice back exercise and leg exercise and also uh, the upper and lower arm exercise. So it's really amazing. I like it. So what I always saying guys, get your ass up and do some exercise. <laughs> I see you guys.